previously on In Search of Stefan. Uh, oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Is that Stefan dressed as a clown? <gasps> no! No! It can't be! No! Some of you might recall that I made the decision to reconsider following Stefan after he made a deal-breaking violation by dressing up as a clown on Saturday Night Live. However, I've been feeling really emptier than usual the past couple of days, so I've decided to give him another chance. He's just going to have to dress up as something especially sexy now, like the crow or Dracula to make it up to me. I've also joined Twitter, which is kind of a bizarre social phenomenon, but it's a way that I can follow celebrities that I'm interested in and see what they're doing at all hours of the day. I have sent Stefan a few Twitters or tweets or whatever they're called, and I'm a little bit discouraged because he hasn't replied to me yet. I suppose it could be because he's got 22,000 followers and he can't possibly reply to everybody, but I think a more logical explanation is because I'm just not, how can I put this nicely, slutty enough to get the attention of rock stars. Some rock stars like fast cars and fast women, neither of which I am. I've also had the problem in the past of coming off as a little bit too nerdy and intellectual, though it's hard to see why looking at me. Smart girls never get the rock stars. Rock stars. Smart girls never get the rock stars. Rock stars. Modest girls never get the rock stars. intimidated by me and my sharp wit. So I'm going to try to dumb myself down just, just a little bit and I'll probably change my username on Twitter uh, from Dr. Kitty 2010 which has the word doctor in the title uh, to something a little bit more accessible like DMB slut 2010. Dear Stefan, I noticed that you no replied to my tweets, and I think maybe because I not provocative enough for you. I not blow cyber kisses in your face, nor do I bring you kinky photos of me eating fruits in sexually explicit manner. I never tell you things on my mind like how your magic fingers Bring me most pleasurable in my mind and body before I sleeping. I never tell you how you make happiness on me in my dreams, and I wake up with sweat and heavy breathings. Oh my. I never tell you that I like my coffee with toast and jelly, but I'd rather be licking from your back to your belly. Oh sorry. That Dave Matthews that say that. Oh, goodness. It getting hot in here. You think? I think it getting hot in here. Whew. I think it time you reply to me. So I'm going to start doing some of these things in expectant hopings that you'll notice me. For viewing enjoyment, I'm going to make video just for you showing me sucking on various type of food. I hope it brings to you your pleasure. Until then, I shall go to bed and dream about you and your magic fingers 
making happiness to my body. Kisses, XOXOXO, hugs. Hello, Stefan. Boy, are you in for a treat tonight because I am going to eat fruit for you in a sensual manner. I don't dress this way for everybody, just for you. Let's begin, shall we? First I have strawberries. Mmm, delicious. Let's just pretend that these are your toes which are very swollen after an especially vigorous night of bass playing. Whipped cream, yum. Mmm, toes. Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Next, a banana. Oh, banana. What are we going to do with you? Let's just pretend that this banana is your fingers, which are especially swollen after a particularly vigorous night of bass playing. Oh, banana. I might come back to the banana. Finally, we have fruit cake to be seasonal. Have you been naughty or nice, Stefan? We can pretend that the fruit cake is your face. Your very sexy French face but I think I need to make it a little more round and face-like. So, we're just gonna make this round and pretend it's your face, your sexy French face. Oh, my name is Stefan Lissard and I have a sexy French fruit cake face. I just, I just want to eat the face. That's what I want to do is just eat it. I don't want to eat the face. It's kind of gross. But it's delicious if I pretend it's your sexy French face. Banana. Pretend the banana is using a lot of imagination. With cream. Oh, banana. Delicious banana. Oh, delicious. Mm. Well, Stefan, I hope you've enjoyed this little culinary excursion just for you. Joyeux Noël! I just don't know if that was the right thing to do. I feel a little bit dirty inside. My motto in life has always been to approach everything I do with integrity and honor. Integrity and 